Hello, 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 Coach Carla DeCole. I wanted to come on and talk this evening. I had just did a podcast with DP, and um, I talked about, you know, um, men and the tough um, conversation we need to have about it. But outside of that, um, I wanted to jump on here real quick and just talk about something that I think um, we need to have a conversation about. Hello, everybody. I'm your coach, Carla Nicole. Um, please make sure to share this video. Um, I don't think we talk enough about, um, I would say we don't talk enough about uh, sex and, and intimacy. So I wanted to talk to you about that not for long, but just for a little bit so we can give ourselves a little more time and energy to improve our intimate life. Um, so anyway, I'm your coach. Be sure to share this video. I wanted to talk to you about how important it is to talk about sex and variety. Um, <laughs> so recently I've had um, quite a few clients struggling with sexless love affairs and um, it's been kind of tough for me as a coach to see the pain the mental torment the frustration of having a sexless love affair or have a very um, I would say less driven <laughs> sexual uh, relationship and I noticed that a lot of times they'll come to me and talk to me about what they're going through. And I try to help people to realize that it's not easy to deal with this. But I wanted to give you some really key, easy key things to do to help you to improve your intimacy. Doesn't take long. All we have to do is just think about something that you can do to improve your love affair. A lot of times we get frustrated because we don't have, you know, number one, anyone to talk to um, because, of course, it's very embarrassing. We're not sure how do we talk about this when we're not, you know what I'm saying? We don't have a lot of friends to really convey, hey, you know, my, my sex life isn't doing too good. Um, or that we don't have someone, a confidant we can talk to that's, that's kind of, um, I would say open to understanding, if you will. You know, sometimes we have a peer group that's kind of not really um, understanding. So here's some things you can do to help improve what you're going through. One of the things, key factors, is variety. I try to explain to people that are going through this, that don't really have a lot of intimacy in their love affair, the very first thing, key thing and factor that I even mentioned on my other podcast is for men to rise to you, ladies, there's three key factors for them to rise to you. The number one is how much you care about him and that he can feel that you care about him. Number two is your appreciation. Is your appreciation real? Do you really care that he's there and are you really appreciative and in gratitude for his presence in your life? And number three, <laughs> this is the big one. Number three, you want to make sure that you cultivate his ability to be honest and vulnerable to you. Three major things, okay? I gave you the steps. All you have to do is cultivate those three things. It's not hard to show your lover that you care because if you truly practice caring for yourself, caring for someone else is easy. So number one, if you're not really too sure if you do well caring for you, then you need to start working on your self-care steps. In order to get great intimacy, you have to be honest with you. You have to learn to process and put things in place for you to be prioritized, for you to care about you. Because when you do this, when you practice and you know, and prioritize how you are going to start 
making steps, taking care of yourself, it will become very second nature to you to care about your lover. It's just, it's just that easy. It's not hard. So then the, the, and, and again, it, those are the three key factors for a man to rise to you. And then variety. Why are we in homes and we're not being intimate? I'm confused. What we need to be doing is we need to be spending more time, truly, truly spending time where we're conversating, where we're really getting curious with each other. A lot of times we're not curious enough. We just assume we know. So as long as you assume you know something, you find out, mm, I thought I knew him, but I really didn't, and I'm really not curious to know any more about him. Well, that's the messed up part about it. You want to start cueing in on, hey, what is it about you that I don't know? Start chiming in, start learning, start paying attention. A lot of times we're in these relationships, and we're really not curious enough, to be honest with you. Here's the other thing that's very, very, very intricate and important is we have to start paying closer attention to how we feel about where we are being intimate at. Are we setting the tone for our lovemaking in our bedrooms or in our where we're going, wherever we're going to have it? It doesn't always have to be in the bedroom. I'm just saying, are you preparing your area of love making why aren't you making it more spruced up i said sex and variety because is a, a variety of variety of factors that helps the intimate relation be more enticing and more enjoyable we have to come up with different things besides doing it the same way and becoming very mechanical the longer you're in a love affair or relationship you tend to become more routine you tend to do things the same way over and over. So it's imperative that you change it up at times. Change position, change the place, the, the room. You do variety of different things so that you can cultivate more fun and more enjoyment while you're in it, if that makes sense, okay? Another thing is we don't show enough skin, ladies. Now, I'm queuing in on this because I think it's important for us ladies to be mindful that men are drawn by what they see. Okay, so when we start to be a little more mindful of giving them peak shows, giving them things to prick their appetite about being with you, you will find yourself to be more approached and flirted with, more approached and grabbed and you know pinched on and kissed on these happen from you getting more free and showing a little more skin we don't show enough skin in the house we need to get some more booty shorts better bras get more get more sleeveless tops i mean we need to show a lot of skin in order to keep a man interested sexually it's very important that you prick and prod his appetite what he sees visually and for you gentlemen, you really want a lover that's going to be present, then it's very important that what you say to this woman is a turn on for her. We as women are drawn to what we hear. I'm going to say that again, guys. We as women are drawn to what we hear. So what you say... <laughs> can and will be held against you. I'm just kidding, but it can when it comes to intimacy. We have to be mindful that, gentlemen, that when you're wanting to get hot and bothered with your lady at the end of the evening or during the course of the day, or you want to come home, you know, at, on your lunch break and, and have some fun with her, why not start flirtating or flirting with her, you know, beforehand? When you flirt with your lover, you will get more enjoyment and more reason for that woman to want to be with you intimately. We as women are wired to be drawn to what we hear. So for us, it's what you say. When you're a man and you speak your truth, when you're a man and you speak about what, you, what turns you on about us, 
and we start to learn what drives you into being with us, then we start to get more aware of those things and we start to put those things in place so that we can do what? Have more joy during intimacy. Gentlemen, the other thing is, what cologne are you wearing? Your scent, your body scent is hugely important for women. When we are in the bed with you or we are wanting to be intimate with you, we want to smell you and we want to know that it you've taken the time to make that smell and scent alluring. So be mindful. When you want to be intimate with your lady, please be mindful. Those are important things. Take the time to prepare to be intimate with your lover. Be like, I, I mean, it's very important that we give clues. We don't spend enough time giving clues. So we need to do that too. So again, these are little key things to really make a big, huge difference in breaking off the routine, stopping it from the monotony, changing it up and having more fun in it.